What is up everybody, it's Larry back with you and today I want to talk to you quickly about Android N. And this will just run through some of the new features with Android N. So as you can see with Android N you have a new wallpaper, you still have your flappy Android which seems to be even harder than it was before because every time you tap them this dude jumps very, very high. So I'll quit embarrassing myself with that. So you have the new wallpaper. One of the main features that uh, I think people are going to be talking about or are talking about is the notification tray and quick toggles. So quickly swiping down, you can see now here's a Phoenix notification from a man, Carlos, and I can either reply or look at his profile right from the notification. So that's just like Hangouts was before. Um, but it seems like all applications will have the opportunity to take advantage of that. Also, the notifications go from, take up the full width from edge to edge now. Um, and then you can see you have quick toggles up top, uh, where you have your Wi-Fi, your do not disturb your battery. And as you swipe down, you have this very cool animation where everything sort of falls into place and reveals all of your quick toggles. Uh, you still have your slider up there for brightness. Um, but you have now you can tap on any one of these and get more information like your battery info right there um, Wi-Fi networks Bluetooth information or you can long press and jump right into the specific settings uh, in the settings app So again, I really like the transition um, I think that's really cool. You can see over here on the second page is night mode and night mode gives you a sort of a tint, an overall tint to the screen. It makes it easier for your eyes to uh, adjust to the screen at night, less eye strain. So I think that's really, really nice. Um, also in night mode, if you jump into the system UI tuner, if you have this turned on, you can actually turn it on so it automatically will turn on during uh, at the time of day at night. And then also it has a dark theme for the overall uh, UI. So I really, really like the dark theme, so I'm gonna be leaving that on. But another thing you have inside of the settings app is at the top you have do not disturb, data saver is on, which we'll get into data saver in a second, but it lets you know what you have on right away that you may wanna turn off. Also, I don't have it here, but it'll also give you suggestions up here. Like it can tell you that you may wanna change your wallpaper, different things like that. So when you get into Data Saver, you can actually turn off different apps uh, and restrict their access so you don't go over a data limit or anything like that. So another thing you can do while you're in the settings, instead of keep going back, 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 you can side swipe from the left and actually get to everything again. So very cool. So you can see my night mode uh, my dark theme already turned off so again this is a developer beta and this is the very first one so there will be bugs and they don't suggest and i don't suggest you put this on your daily driver this is not my daily driver right now but i wanted to put it on there and check it out and then get a video out for you guys so the other huge thing aside from the system toggles and things like that but the biggest thing i think that's out right now is dual windows now everybody knows this from Samsung um, and some other devices, but this will work in Android N from tablets to phone devices. But all you do is you go into your recent apps and you can hold, press and hold on whatever app you want. So let's just say my Phoenix app and I bring it to the top of the page. Now it is locked into the top. So now I can put my settings at the bottom. So there you go, you have dual windows you can adjust it up and down much like Samsung and then it also works in landscape mode and you have that same adjustment either way so super super cool um, and then to get out of it you're just gonna hold that back and then it'll take you back but another cool thing is let's see if I can show you here so we're gonna take this one put it back up to the top and then we'll bring our settings back. And then if I hit the home button, we still have dual window going on. So I'm gonna open up, let's see if I open up YouTube. Now it puts YouTube on the bottom, 
and my one app was pinned to the top. So you can tell that by this button down here that was your recent apps. Now it's two, um, two rectangles, which means you're in multi-window mode. And again, you just hold that and you'll get yourself back out. So your top window seems to be the dominant window. It's the one that stays there. It's the one that when you get out of it, it takes up the whole screen. So there's that. One more thing I want to show you guys in settings before we wrap this up is you have a display mode. So if you go into display, you now have display size. You can actually change. This is the default size and you can actually change it down to small. And what this does is you can see that the Google bar is smaller and that's about it here but inside of the applications anything will all that stuff will be smaller. I would like to see where it makes your app icons smaller but it doesn't seem to do that but maybe in an update uh, farther along in the betas maybe that'll come along. That's gonna be about it guys. If you know of some things that I've missed from Android N, please leave it down in the comment section below. Also, let me know down in the comment section what you think the N is going to stand for this time. I've seen Neapolitan, uh, Nutello. Uh, I've seen some funny ones, but let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. So that's gonna be about it. If you guys enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. If you've yet to subscribe, make sure you do that. And I will talk to you guys in the next video.